When people see success, they can jump to an assumption that it came easy and happened overnight. They see the shining moments of victory in the Olympic arena, but they don't see the grind and grit and people behind what it took to get to that moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to welcome you to Bozeman. Today, I want to tell you guys the story of Oksana Masters. I'm Oksana Masters. I'm a three-time Paralympic athlete in three different sports. I went to London 2012 for rowing, 2014 for cross-country skiing, biathlon, and 2016 for cycling. So I love sports. I'm a little indecisive when it comes to sports. And I have three Paralympic medals, one silver, two bronze from those games. My life kind of started halfway around the world though. I was originally born in Ukraine and I lived in three different orphanages until my mom saw a picture of me and decided to be my mom. <laughs> so Procter & Gamble recently came out with a film that I really want to share with you guys and it's called Love Over Bias. It's about the bias and struggle we all face growing up but through the eyes of a mother. It's something we can all relate to on a level as we've all had successes in our lives that came with struggles along the way. And who was there for you during those struggles? In Oksana's case, it was her mom. I have two prosthetic legs. I was born with tibia hemimilia and also like webbed fingers. I just had so much birth defects that were all what we're assuming is the result of radiation induced. What is your guys' favorite memory together? I wonder if it's, the, I don't even know if it's the same memory, but. What's yours? Waking her up in the orphanage mm. <laughs> at 11.30 at night. First of all, she's wearing three layers of clothes, a sweater under all these blankets because there's no heat in the orphanage at all. And then she goes, I know you, you're my, you're my mother. I have a picture, you want to see? And she goes and gets, she shows me the picture I sent her. You're um, like, that's right. That's, that's <laughs> she that's basically right. did. She yeah, was like, right. I know you, you're my daughter. That's right. And then at that same time, she also told me she wasn't going to learn English. She was very smart. <laughs> And she could teach me Ukrainian. I said, okay, lots of luck with that. I just remember everything about that moment. I remember, like, it's just that grogginess waking up from that deep sleep and being tied, <laughs> like, yes. with the blankets. Like, they like to really tighten you down. Yeah. And I just remember, like, f like, feeling and seeing you kneel down in your big black coat. Yeah. And, because um, you were to the left of me. Mm -hmm. nice. And that was amazing. Um, so that's, yeah, that's definitely probably one of my favorite, just because it was such, mm -hmm. yeah. like, um, like this really happened because I actually knew about my mom when I was five and she knew about me then too, but wasn't able to get me until I was seven and a half because Ukraine closed their adoptions. During that time, um, there was a, this ban put on it, and so she, you couldn't make any like adoptions at all from Ukraine. My mom, was told that she can go to Russia and she can adopt a baby and it could be like within a week she would have her a new baby and because she originally wanted a baby she didn't want an opinionated seven-year-old. <laughs> Procter and Gamble just came out with this new video with love over bias and I don't know how many times I've like watched that on repeat leading into this games because it's been super inspiring to me because it's all about like seeing the world and like all these biases through a mother's eye. And I know I would not be here without my mom at all. And I think that's something that when I first started into sports and wanted to do something and definitely doubted myself, I wish I saw myself more through your eyes. So I always saw my role as just helping make sure the doors were open for her. And sometimes that meant money, sometimes that meant phone calls, sometimes that meant you know, just being in the air. Just, be, just yeah. So she adopted me when I was seven and a half, and raised me a single parent. My mom didn't speak Ukrainian. I didn't speak English. So the communication was really fun. <laughs> a lot of hand gestures. Sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you got it wrong. <laughs> when I was younger, I was taught to just never show emotion on my face and cry. So when I wasn't feeling good. Um, I would say like, my stomach hurts, but I'm saying it all with a smile on my face. And my mom's like, oh good, because I'm smiling. She doesn't know what I'm saying. Like, I'm vomiting all over the floor. Yeah. And she's like. Pretty cool system. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, hon. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
With just a little over two months until the Paralympic Winter Games, Oksana's schedule is packed, but she found some time in her day to teach me a little bit about what she'll be competing at the upcoming games. Okay, so you're gonna kind of, I don't know how to reenact this since I'm missing half of my legs. Okay. Oh, perfect. You can like hold on to like my knee or something. Okay. Yeah. And then it's a little narrower. <laughs> I'm in. Woo! All right, we're good to so go. So three things. Don't be afraid to fall. Okay. We're not that far from the ground. That's yeah. the good thing about Siski. <laughs> Falling is super normal. And how do you gonna, stop? Do you oh, just kind of? You can't. There's no stopping. Okay. <laughs> you're just gonna like lead with your poles, and just a lot of it's your core. So you want to stabilize your core and just. You go like, go all out, and I'll try and go all out. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Set. Go. go. <laughs> Woo! That was really good. <laughs> no, but see, like, you're, I think that uphill's helping, because you totally got it. Oksana will be competing in both Nordic skiing and biathlon for her second time. Nordic skiing is cross-country skiing only, and biathlon is cross-country skiing and shooting. You could just get in like a tuck position too. Oh, and go like that? Yeah. Free feet. Yeah. Oh, I always go, okay, okay. <laughs> When I first like realized I can go to the Paralympic Games, one coach like basically just like laughed and said, uh, "Good luck, but I think you should look at other things to do with your life." Basically, my bill is so small. I don't look like a jacked elite athlete when you first look at me, and that kind of fueled my fire a little bit because I really wanted to prove not just her, but to like any young girl or any person out there that. Yeah, you might not be the type to be like a gymnast or an ice skater or a weightlifter, but like it's not what you have, it's what you do with what you have. Embrace it and love it because there's only one you, one body. Oksana is such a beautiful person and a fierce competitor. Despite her obstacles, she has overcome bias around appearance and ability and proven them wrong. Thanks to her mom and her attitude of, it's not what you have, it's what you do with what you have. So that's the story of Gay and Oksana Masters. Don't forget to tune into the Paralympic Winter Games Pyeongchang starting on March 9th so we can all root on our girl Oksana. Also check out the link below, it takes you to loveoverbias.com so you can watch the film as well as learn more great stories just like Oksana's. Thank you guys for watching this video, I really hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.